Hi guys. Today for our topic lesson, we're going to continue with fossils. Um, and we're going to do something really special, okay? So first we're going to take out our magic finger and you guys are going to follow with your magic finger, my finger, okay? So let's go. Do you know what shape we just did? That was a spiral. Um, you can find amazing spirals in nature if you look long enough. Okay, have you ever seen spirals in a spider web or in a shell? Can you think of any other examples of how you have seen spirals in nature? Okay, um, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be producing our own spiral pattern, okay? But before we do that, I'm going to read you a little story, which I hope you enjoy, okay? Swirl by Swirl, Spirals in Nature, by Joyce Sidman, pictures by Beth Combs. Swirl by Swirl, Spirals in Nature. A spiral is a snuggling shape. It fits neatly in small places. Coiled tight, warm and safe, it waits for a chance to expand. A spiral is a growing shape. It starts small and gets bigger, swirl by swirl. It unwraps itself, one soft curl at a time. A spiral is a strong shape. Its outer curves protect what's inside. It knows how to defend itself. A spiral reaches out to explore the world. It winds around and around. And clings tight, grasping what it needs. It never has trouble holding on. A spiral is a clever shape. It is graceful and strong. It is bold. And beautiful. A spiral moves. It swirls through water gathering bubbles. It twists through air with clouds on its tail. It stretches starry arms through space, spinning and sparkling, forever expanding. Or it curls up neat and small, warm and safe. A, spiring, a spiral is a snuggling shape. Spiral, a shape that curls around the center point. I hope you enjoyed the story. Spirals and circles are most commonly found in nature. Um, it's very unlikely to see sharp edges like squares and triangles. And, um, and you can also find spirals in fossils. The most common is called an ammonite, okay? And you can see a picture around here somewhere, okay? And I want you to now go out 
for a hunt and you're going to try and find as many spirals as you can around your garden or around your house and tell me were these spirals large were they small are they delicate or are they bold what sort of spirals have you found use these to inspire you to do the activity that follows enjoy